Holy cow, guys, wait till you see this. I'm just leaving the bank and every single one of these, hold on a second. All right, so I just went to the bank looking for half dollars to hopefully find some silver. And I just got a, they said they have $140 worth of customer wrapped. So I said, yeah, I'll take them. Now, if they are actually 1965 to 1969, every single one of them, look at this. If this is true, that means they're all silver, all 40% silver half dollars, which makes this the biggest score. I gotta check these out. Let's go home and I will check them out. All right, I just got home. I have not even peeked to look at these things. Let me zoom in a bit. 1966 on this one. 1966, 1969, 1965, 66. So I was actually doing some math on the way over here from the bank. Um, I have $140 face value of most likely 40% silver half dollars. If they even are silver, um, we'll have to see as soon as we open them. But that's 280 coins. That's 41 ounces of silver. I got for $140 for 140 bucks. There's a lot of 1966, dude. Isn't there like some varieties in 1966 as well? We can check these for errors and varieties and stuff. They might be worth a lot more than silver. But look at that. Sorry, it's on, uh, I just kind of slapped the camera together and. So let's go ahead and crack some of these open. If this is not silver, then I'll post it on Patreon only. Um, if it is silver, it'll be on YouTube and it'll still be on Patreon first as always. Let me zoom in for this. I think they are silver because they feel they do feel a little bit heavier. Hold on. I have a regular roll of half dollars here. Uh, they kind of feel the same, actually. Yeah, I think they're. I don't think they're silver. I think somebody was messing with me. I don't know. If they are silver, I'll be extremely happy. If not. What a what a cruel thing to do. All right, here we go. Come on. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm going to look at the camera. Oh, it looks silver to me, man. That totally looks silver. That looks silver. Dude, I cannot believe that we just did that. I went into the bank looking for half dollars. And look at that. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 rolls full of 40% silver. This one says 1966, let's see if it's accurate. It's not, this says 68, 64, that's a 90 percenter. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll do like a time lapse here of me sorting through these. I'll go by date. Um, all the way on the left will be 90 percent. And then we'll go 1965. Yeah, cause 1964 is 90 percent. 1966, 1969. All right, let's speed this up. All right, all right, stopping the time lapse. There's a 1941 Walking Liberty half dollar in there. <laughs> that's 
That's 90% silver compared to the everything else, which is, of course, 40% from here over. Uh, these are all my, these four are 90%, 1964s and that walker. All right, let's keep going here. All right, this one's a little different. Um, it does not have a mint mark on it, but it's a 1976 and it looks silver on the edge, but there's no mint mark. Um, interesting, we'll put that one over here off to, the, off to the side just to make sure. We'll check that one later. All right, let's continue on. All right, well that didn't take long. 1954 Franklin half dollar, 90% silver. This is absolutely the best silver score I've ever had in one shot. No doubt. Even better than when I found the, uh, the full roll of Franklin's that was actually two rolls combined. This is even better than that. This is even better than when I found that stash of uh, silver coins at that yard sale not too long ago over the summer This is even better. This is crazy. I was not expecting this today. Today was more like just drive around look for half dollars and uh, Hopefully find some and yeah, I did I mean look at this man You can tell that they've been in the roll for a long time because they're like they're tarnished evenly They all have the same exact tarnish on like you see that? The silver is tarnished a certain way. Um, these have been in the rolls for years. That is so cool. And they look at my fingers. I'm all like, they're like turning black and stuff. This is awesome. I'm going to post this video on both my main YouTube channel, Clutch Guitars, and over on my coin and finance and Bitcoin channel, Clutch Guitars TV. If you guys are interested in that stuff, uh, definitely check the links below. Here we go. Here's something different. Look at this. This is a 1971. Let me get a better shot. 1971 peso, un peso. It's a Mexican coin. And I think they are like a small percentage silver. I could be wrong there. Um,. I could be wrong, but I'll put the percentage of silver up here if it's silver at all. This is pretty unbelievable. I'm, I'm like, I was shaking the whole way home. Like, I couldn't believe that. Now that I know that it's actually real, it's a little bit different. There's another 90 percenter. Actually, let me take that 90 percenter and that uh, 76 out of there. So these are still all 90 percent. And these down here are just different things. This one's got like a uniform blue stain along the side, blue toning. That is so cool, man. Wow, so we've only got this roll and one more to go. I'm just sitting here in disbelief. I mean, <laughs> it definitely pays off to go into any bank and just ask for half dollars. And if they have them, buy everything they have and then look through them. All you need to know is every half dollar from 1970 and older is gonna be silver. 1964 and older is 90% silver. So 1965 to 1970 is 40% silver half dollars, which is all of these. These are 1964 and older, so they're 90% silver.
That was an easy thousand bucks today. Oh, we got one more roll. Yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or my other channels, definitely do so. I have all kinds of content like this. Here's another Franklin. 1960 Franklin. That goes on the 90% pile. 69, 68. Man. I mean, I was driving around all day looking for half dollars, and I just happened to get lucky with this one place. Customer wrapped rolls. I said, yeah, I'll take them. You know, whatever. I didn't think it would be this. There's another 90 percenter. So I was just about to give up. It's really tough to get coins right now in the U.S. There's like a coin limitation due to, due to COVID and everything. So on my uh, other channel, Clutch Guitars TV, I always did like a live stream with coins and everything. And haven't been able to do that for quite a while because of the coin shortage. So that's it. 69, 68, and a 66. So I'm going to do some math here. This is what I spent. This is what I profited. Thanks for watching. That was crazy. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left. So thanks so much. And also big thanks to all my major credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also if you enjoyed this video, you're really gonna like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out and I'll see you guys on the next video.